So you can see that currently we only have one endpoint and that is the there is the root endpoint. Let's say we are building a, a retail application and we are selling a bunch of electronic products in there. Okay, so let's have a second endpoint and that will result to products. Okay, and uh, and if we go here, let's just uh, type here list of products. Okay, and if I build this, go back to oh, Insomnia, I get a list of products. But I, I really want a list of products to be available here. Okay, so, well, the thing is, this particular method is actually able to return only a string, but I want to return a message with a JSON list of, with a list of uh, products in JSON format, okay? So that is why I can't use this uh, string method, and it turns out there's another method called JSON. And JSON accepts an empty interface here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to supply a list of, I'm going to supply a slice of products that I have in my store. So I've got mobile, and then I've got TV, and I've got, uh, let's say, oven. All right. So when I do this and click Save, now when I go back, well, you see that it, it returns the format that I want. So it, it is in JSON format that it's being returned in. Okay. Now, uh, there's something else that I actually want to do. So what if, so let me just copy this over here. And I want to understand how I can make use of uh, the parameters and query parameters especially. So among the products I want to let's say look for a particular brand of mobiles. Okay. So let's say uh, I'll just have a query param. So I, what I want to be able to do is I want to list all the mobile phones by the, by the vendor Apple. Okay. Now how can I get this value here? Well, uh, you can actually have a variable here and you can call it anything. I'm just calling it vendor. You can call it van. You can call it vendor with V capital. That is all okay. But go with shorter names and that's fine. Now I want this value uh, to be available in the response. That's what I want right now. So what I'm going to do is somebody is going to send me this particular brand of mobiles that they want and I just want to print it in the string. I'm not going to do anything right now. We just want to learn how to make use of uh, the values that people can pass in their parameters like this. Okay, so you have to use the colon and the name of the ID. Okay, now I want to, I'm going to replace this and uh, I'm going to have, going to make use of this context variable and it has one method called param. Okay, and I'm going to use that method and pass it the name of the query param that I'm expecting to be supplied with some kind of value. Okay, so I'm going to save this. And when I go back here, click send, it returns Apple. Exactly what I was expecting, right? Now let's say in Apple category, you want to find the phones that are older than iPhone 11. Okay, so let's say I have or iPhone, iPhone 10 for example. So you want to list all those phones and the way you would do that is using the query params. So query params is actually kind of optional things that you can actually uh, make use of to uh, get to IPS to do the exact thing that you want. Uh, these are kind of the fixed things, so there is not much you can change here. But using query params, you can actually add more flexibility. So it can be older than, or uh, newer than, or whatever. Okay, and that that's all up to you. Your application has to know what values are possible, and uh, then you should actually find a way to handle it. 
so uh, there's a way to actually get this particular query param and that is this query param method and I'm just going to pass it the name of this query param string older than and when I do this let's say uh, sorry I made a mistake here I, I shouldn't be putting it here in fact uh, this is not the right place to put here uh, because we are expecting uh, the client to pass that value to us so and we want to just print it now okay so uh, it's not gonna be double quotes here okay so when I click send I see iPhone 10 getting printed out because it read the value from older than query param and it picked it up and it sent it in the output okay uh, yeah that's uh, that's basically how you can use uh, query params and parameters route parameters Okay, uh, so that was a very short session. We'll be using query params and parameters a lot in the subsequent sessions. Uh, this is just so you know that this is how you can access them. Thank you.